Hey guys, I'm back with another devlog of my game Bob War, which I'm making using the Godot engine. And if you're new here, it's the first ever game that I'm making and I'm making it for the Android platform. It is an endless scroller where you try to beat your high score while saving your bubble from enemies and using power-ups to defend yourself. I've added a lot of new things to the game since my last devlog, which you can check out by clicking in the link here. I started with the pausing system of the game and the pause menu. So the player can pause the game anytime by tapping on the pause button. Currently, I've added just two buttons, quit and restart. The pause icon changes to a start icon, which when pressed, resumes the game. I am also going to make a tutorial on how to make a pause button, so stay tuned for that. The next thing I added was some more cool enemies. The green one is a biohazard or I don't know, a radioactive enemy, which has a gas surrounding it. If you come in contact with the gas, then you'll take damage. The other one is a volcanic rock enemy that gives you damage when it hits you. I use simple area to the nodes to detect the collisions and send signals to the script. I also made a spawning system that spawns each enemy at random locations and timings. I'll also be making a tutorial on how to make enemies like this. The next thing that I added was power-ups. I used a spawning system similar to the one that I used for the enemy spawning. When the player gets a power-up, it is stored and can be used anytime by double tapping on the bubble. There's a lightning power-up a shield power-up that protects you from the enemies, a health power-up that recharges your health, and my favorite one, the speed boost. It was such a pain to make the speed boost power-up, because I had to activate two power-ups at the same time, the speed power-up and the shield power-up. On top of that, I also had to make the shield power-up last for some extra amount of time so that the player doesn't take damage when the speed boost finishes. But it was definitely worth it because I learned a lot from it. The last thing that I made is the health and damage system. I made it in an extremely simple way with just one sprite. At first, the player will have three bubbles or lives. Each time the player takes damage, it costs you half a life. I did this by splitting the sprite into half by using the VFrames property and the hide and show canvas item properties to display the health. The player can recharge the health when it gets the health power up. When the player has no more health left, it is game over. So that was it for my second devlog. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my upcoming tutorials.